gents are always in my DMs and always coming up to me in person not wanting my number but are actually asking for natural hair care tips they want to know how to grow their hair and i thought you know what let me do a video all about that especially for you sun banana ninjani it's zinke africa so it's a long time coming, but it's definitely here, okay? So I have four major points that I will be covering in this video. It's actually quite simple. And obviously this applies to anyone that has short hair that just wants to grow it out. Whether you are growing out your whole head or it's you're gonna have a fade situation and you want more of the hair on the crown of your head to grow out either way these tips are going to be all you need there will be trial and error in certain places but you know what i got you i got you i got you the very first thing and the most important thing is water natural hair is like a plant without water <laughs> there is no life water is important in your scalp care in your moisture routine in your wash day water is everything to natural hair so that is your number one tip how you start off with water is that you put it in a spray bottle and you spray your hair with it before you moisturize or before you put anything on your scalp water is very important you will see a lot more growth and a lot more health when you prioritize the water in your hair obviously it doesn't have to be super wet every single time you spray but just a little bit goes a long way so number two is scalp care a healthy scalp will always result in healthy hair prioritize that scalp those follicles that new growth is coming from your scalp so it's really important to take care of your scalp look at your scalp are you a person that gets a lot of dandruff um is your scalp sensitive you know you have to know certain things about yourself but because we're just starting off with growing the hair this is, these are the beginning stages a good castor oil is amazing if you're feeling a little bit iffy about castor oil um olive oil is also a really great option so the best way to do it is to spray a little bit of water with your spray bottle and then go in just a little bit with your oil um you'll put it on your hand a little bit and then kind of massage it in um depending on the length of your hair when you have shorter hair it's actually easier to access your scalp so i would then go in with the castor oil or go in with the olive oil and then really massage that in you'll do that whenever you feel like you need to and uh, make sure that your scalp is never dry you know you will slowly build your own routine but the basic 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 is that you spray a little bit of water you put in some oil um you massage the oil onto your hair and that is it that is your scalp care right if you feel like things are not working out for you that simple step is not working for you then there might be an underlying medical condition that you need to pay attention to like psoriasis or eczema but for the most part this should be perfect for you you're also more than welcome if that's what you want to do go into the stores and get hair growth oil and see see how that works out for you that's also great and convenient but also you have the option to just take a castor oil or an olive oil and use that number three is you know now that we have a little bit of hydration from the water we have the oil on the scalp we now have to pay attention to the length of the hair no matter how short or long your hair is you always have to moisturize you're gonna have to choose a moisturizer okay so <sighs> I'm really trying for this to be as simple as possible. In the natural hair community, there is LCO and there's LOC. I always recommend LCO. LCO is liquid, so you'll go in with your water. And then cream. So a cream is any moisturizer, um, anything that has a creamy consistency. Um, anything that has a creamy consistency you'll put that on your hair um, that's when I usually go for store-bought items um, just get a moisturizer anything that says moisturizer on it perfect it's gonna work okay 
um, yeah, depending on which one you buy, but most of them work. <laughs> most of them work, and then you go in with an oil. You can use that same oil that you use on your scalp um, as um, to seal everything in, right? So that's LCO. And if this is getting a bit too overwhelming for you, then you can only use your moisturizer, but you will find that your hair is going to get dry a lot quicker. So that oil will really help you retain that moisture. It will keep that moisture in. And for number four, the very last point is how you take care of your hair at night. Your whole day's work could go down the drain if you are not properly taking care of your hair at night. And what I mean about that is that you have to cover your hair up in a silk or satin bonnet or a scarf. I prefer to use scarves. Or if that seems a little bit too much for you, you can get a silk or a satin pillowcase. And pretty much if you can do these four things, you will see such an improvement in your hair, the hair growth, hair health. It's really as simple as that. So let's do a quick recap number one water is very 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 important without water your hair cannot thrive number two the scalp routine spray a little bit of water and then go in with an oil to just make sure that you have a healthy scalp that it's moisturized and it's not dry number three is to moisturize your hair start off with the water and then go in with a moisturizer seal everything in with an oil and you're absolutely done number four is your night care making sure that all of your work doesn't go down the drain you making sure that everything is secured so cotton actually sucks out the moisture in your hair so that's why a silk or a satin pillowcase is recommended just to make sure that your hair stays moisturized for longer you'll find that natural hair actually dries out quite a lot so um, making sure that you keep up with your hair care routine is gonna just benefit it so much more Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. You know the vibes. As always, love, light, and blessings to you. Bye.